listeners, this is Dr. Feel Great with the latest sound in town. WCTE broadcasting to you live. Looks like we're going to have a fantastic great day. Now let's see. Two cups of bat milk, a few ghoul berries, and one killer kumquat. Now we've got Trudy on the line for today's trivia question. And it's a real doozy. What was Count Dracula's real name? Vlad the Impaler. Uh, uh, I'll get... Uh, Gary? Mom, I can't get the blender to work for my killer kumquat breakfast smoothie. Still no winner. Stay tuned for another chance to win a trip for two to sunny Bermuda. <laughs> there you go, honey. Sometimes these things have a life of their own. Come on, Fang. We're going to be late for school. gotten into you. <laughs> There's definitely something strange going on. Good morning, everyone. Now, don't forget Friday's bake sale happening. Stay tuned to WCTE. It will all happen at 10.30 in the gymnasium. And I say... Oh, is nothing free of advertising these days? Okay, settle down, people. Today's lesson will be the isosceles triangle. Where two sides are equal and longer than the third. When two sides of a triangle are of unequal size, the opposing angles will be of unequal size. I'm telling you, that's no ordinary radio tower. I suspect it's emitting some very suspicious ultra-frequency waves all day. Is that what happened to Principal Shabley's announcement? Exactly, and it was wreaking havoc with our blender this morning. That's weird. My mom's dryer was acting funny, too. No, not fake mail, bake sale. What? I can't... No, no, there's lots of static. Let, let me call you back. I think I know what this is. The Columbus Triangle Effect. The Columbus Triangle? Is that anything like the Bermuda Triangle where all those planes and ships disappeared? This is a much smaller triangle. The phenomenon was first recorded in this very town a long time ago. Strange sonic disturbances started coming through people's radios. Relaxed somatic nerve tonic soothes the soul right down to the toes. Ah! Appliances went haywire. It was the Columbus Triangle Creeps, a bizarre race of intraterrestrials, making even ordinary domestic chores a nightmare. Then. One day, everyone disappeared, leaving their delicious suppers untouched. And now the creeps are back to reclaim what is magnetically theirs. Hey, your house sure looks deserted, Mona. alarm but we have to be on the lookout for any signs of paranormal activity let's meet at satman headquarters for a strategy meeting tomorrow morning see you at zero eleven hundred hours <laughs> now the exact parameters of the columbus triangle remain shrouded in mystery but we know the source of the waves is the wcte transmission tower before we launch a formal investigation we need to mark all the places where strange phenomena have occurred. Well, there's the dryer at my house. And don't forget my dad's car stalled yesterday. Okay, we'd better do some field work to see how far this campaign of sonic interference stretches. I found my old compass from orienteering camp. You mean the magnetic locator. And I've got the chuck. I, I mean triangle delineator. And I brought the ultrasonic wave monitor. Aha! I'm getting a 
lot of wave activity here. Zatman, mark the area. to the source. The waves are very powerful. This is Dr. Feelgrade, welcoming you to WCTE's live remote broadcast. Follow that intraterrestrial creep mobile. <laughs> trying to get as many radios as possible tuned into their frequency. See? The crowd is under their spell. It's all part of their fiendish plan. What should we do? We've got to stop them before the waves become unbearable. No one will be safe. Don't touch that, Zatman, or you'll be doomed. But it's just my size. Quick, we have to destroy them. These student protesters get younger every year. point of the triangle is here. So to complete the triangle, the third point would have to be there. Okay, our next destination is the corner of Columbus and Dollard. That must be the source of the dastardly doings. This doesn't seem right, Mona. Um, our calculations might have been a little off. I haven't had the ultrasonic wave monitor tuned in ages. Something tells me it's this way. I assure you, ma'am, we're trying to get the situation under control. Thank you for your interest in WCTE. Tell the control room not to juice up the megahertz too much. We're getting more complaints. What are we looking for, Mona? Anything that looks or sounds unusual. Ow! Quiet, Vic. The creeps are experts in sound. Well, how's about a scrumptious delectable bit of wax from the stacks, everybody? And remember, WCTE is gonna get ya. We found it. The headquarters of the Columbus Triangle Creeps. I said, don't touch that dial. The Columbus Triangle Creeps won't stop until we have every radio listener in our grasp. Hey, what are you pint-sized pickaroons doing in here? We're on a mission to stop your transmission. Careful, Zapman! Uh, I'll use a sonic deflector as a shield! Uh, don't touch that! It's Disco Gold! <laughs> Quick, Princess Giant, seize the magnetic propulsor! Now the whole town will know about their devious plot to control the airwaves. WCTE. If I can just figure out how these creepy controls work. <laughs> Attention all dwellers of the Columbus Triangle. Do not fear your errant vacuum cleaners. Do not run from the terrifying paranormal phenomena you have been experiencing lately. The Columbus Triangle rightly belongs to the people who live there. And also, be nice to vampires. Thank you. The tooth is out there. Hey. Maybe I should have gone into television. Mm. Hello out there in Radioland. Please excuse that short interlude of experimental vampire poetry. WCTE was experiencing, uh, technical difficulties. Mmm, 
It seems WCTE was fined for causing radio interference. But what got the attention of the authorities was a broadcast that mentioned vampires. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Mona? Let's just say I'm very sensitive to sound, Dad. Ooh, guess what? I won that radio contest. Two tickets for Bermuda. Tickets for two? What's Dad gonna do while we're gone? <laughs> oh, actually, Mona, I booked an extra seat so the whole family can go. Come on, Fang. We've got some packing to do. Say, how did you win that contest anyway? You know, the tickets just showed up at the door. Good thing we know our Dracula trivia. Right, Fang? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sure, you guys want to go through with this? Totally. Soccer's the coolest sport of all time. I've just got to make the team. See this ball? My great uncle Herman played soccer with it back in 1940. It's my good luck charm. My parents think I should be more athletic. It was this or synchronized swimming. Number 39 looks pretty good. That's Hank, the team all star. Yup, he sure has the gift. <sighs> Seems like this is gonna cut into a lot of monster movie time. Some sacrifices are worth it. Hello, everyone. I'm the new soccer coach, Coach Borman Afalopoulos. But you can call me Coach Borman. Coach Ferguson had a little, um, accident. So I'm taking over this season. My three rules are practice, practice, practice. Okay, let's get these tryouts going. Charlie, Lily, hop, hop. <laughs> You still sure about those sacrifices? Go, Charlie! Go, Lily! Go, Charlie! Go, Lily! Lily, go back to the bleachers. Charlie, back to the starting position. Hop, hop! To it. I don't have all day. Get that ball moving! Prepare for my triple Transylvanian kick! Those were some pretty fancy moves. Jamal, Hank, Grammy, Stork, Lily, and Mona, of course. Congrats. You made the team. The rest of you, well, there's always next year. Uh, Charlie, that's your lucky ball. Unlucky is more like it. Sorry you didn't make the cut, Bones. But tell you what, we need a mascot. Should be a perfect fit. See you at practice tomorrow. 6 a.m. But tomorrow's Saturday. What's your point? I can't believe I got roped into being Stinky the Skunk. The last kid who wore this got sprayed with tomato juice. I can't believe Coach Borman. Six in the morning. Hmm, there's something ultra weird about him. His huge feet? His long arms? His mono brow? Yeah, that guy is positively primitive. Listen, Charlie, I'll help you practice tomorrow, okay? Nah, no practice for me. I'm giving up soccer. Maybe I'll take up botany or something. See ya. Give me an N! Give me a K! Give me an S! What does it smell? Skunks! Skunks! Ah. Come on, 500 more. Pick up the pace. <laughs> All right, take.
take five, everybody. Hey, where's Hank? Break over. Kick off. I don't get it. Hank would never skip out on a practice. <gasps> Jersey is his most prized possession. Hank would never just leave it on the floor. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Ginormous, don't you think? Too bad they don't make gummies that big. Yeah, these big feet are good. That's it. Big feet, big foot. Huh? Coach Borman is a big foot. A big foot? Yes. According to my pocket creature dictionary, big foot are distinguished by their huge feet, musky smell, and deafening shriek when agitated. Though a big foot usually subsists on berries, Sometimes they like to dine on dark-haired... Huh? What does that say? The page is torn! Dark-haired... Hey, both Hank and Coach Ferguson had dark hair. The Bigfoot must like to eat dark-haired soccer players. I knew I should have tried out for synchronized swimming. The Bigfoot might be staking out his next target. Looks like he's making soup. What if it's soccer player soup? Poor Hank. Soup, soup, skittle, diddle, soup, soup. to beat him at his own game. Charlie, are you in? You betcha! Okay, are we set? Affirmative. Soccer uniforms, any screech ear guards, and smell blocker nose plugs. And foot blaster powder. Excellent. Oh, almost forgot. Wow. Uncle Herman's ball. I couldn't let you throw away your lucky charm. Prepare for combat! Hey, Bigfoot Foreman! Come out, come out, wherever you are! We dare you to a game! You little pipsqueaks dare to challenge me? Tell you what, if you win, I won't eat you for dinner. I'll eat you for lunch! <laughs> Just because I have big feet. 
I never scored a goal in my whole life. Not to worry, Mr. Bigfoot. We'll help you score a goal. You help me? Yeah. Come on, we'll use my lucky ball. A little to the left. You're doing great. That's it. Nice and easy. <laughs> wow. Nice shot. Go. Down, Bigfoot. Down. <laughs> Chalk up another one for the All-Star team. Anyone up for another game? You wanted to see me, Coach? You know, Bones, I was a little hard on you. Hank's not showing up, so I want you to take his place. <coughs> That's great! Thanks! Looks like I won't be needing this anymore. I made the team! Right on! Hank, you're back! Yeah! Good to see you, Hank. I had cheerleader practice on the same day as the soccer, so I had to sneak away. My dad only wants me to play sports. He doesn't think cheerleading's athletic. But he's so wrong, it's hard. You know, I always wanted to be a mascot, too. Be my guest. You mean it? Thanks. Wow, Charlie. Looks like you got the gift after all. Yeah! <laughs>